各位观众，我是金宇熙。今天我们的嘉宾是 Hugh Dancy， 他不单单是一个特别帅的呃演员，而且呢，他是一个很聪明的演员，受过高等的教育，在牛津大学毕业的。这次他是我们上海电影节的嘉宾，呃，带着他最新的电影《Adam》来同我们分享。修丹西好莱坞为数不多的来自牛津大学的高材生。二零零五年，他主演了以一九九四年卢旺达大屠杀为主题的电影《猎犬》，获得了当年英国电影学院奖的提名。二零零七年，他主演的百老汇舞台剧《旅途的尽头》获得了托尼奖。看似文艺腔十足的修丹西，在二零零九年《一个购物狂的自白》中，却向大家显示了他幽默睿智的一面。此次，他和他的新婚妻子克莱尔·丹尼斯一起来到上海，参加上海国际电影节的活动。他们是一对夫妻，让我们把最热烈的掌声送给他们好吗 ？Hugh， 这次呢，你是上海电影节的嘉宾，呃，而且你走了红地毯，当时的感觉怎么样 ？It was, um, it was spectacular. It was very different from I think any red carpet I've walked down before. I, I mean, certainly in the States. Um, I mean, they have huge red carpets, obviously, at the Oscars and so on. But you don't usually get that opportunity to address the fans that are there, the movie fans. I love that. I love being able to stand up and talk to them. And, um, obviously, and they gave me a birthday present. Uh, they, they, yeah, I bow. Yeah, and um, all wished me happy birthday. So it was, it was quite memorable. Yeah, well, we're very happy that you're spending your birthday here yeah. too with us. As we know, because in the coming week you will have your birthday, right? This is true. Because in the next week, on the 6th of March, is his birthday. Let's all together say, Happy birthday! Let the wife give you a present. You want to give a present to your husband? Happy birthday! 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 Well, I mean, the first thing to say is that um, the city is obviously changed. Um, it's changed so much in 10 years. 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 Um, it's I think in terms of the pavilions, I mean, the, the, the exhibit, the Chinese pavilion, was incredible. Um, the, I have to say that the UK pavilion, and I'm not just saying this, but the, the UK pavilion, because I am from the UK, but from the outside, the architecture of it was spectacular. Yes. We, we didn't go inside, so I, I, don't, I don't know if we missed anything, but, um, but the design was incredible. I think that then the other thing was the number of people, just, yeah. just to realize that, what, half a million people a day or, or about going through there, um, it, it was amazing to see the, to see, just to see that mass of, of humanity going through. And, and then the other thing that really impressed me was the theme pavilion, you know, the um, better city, better life. Uh, yeah, and, and to see that attention to the environment and to addressing the idea of how do you grow as a city and how do you grow as a nation and, and across the world um, and, and try and do it in good conscience. And, and just watching Parents coming through with their kids, you know, and showing them these these exhibits about what pollution is and what it what, what it means really. I, I thought that was very very impressive. Now, these two days in Shanghai, one, you, you, give you the most impressive memory is what? Well, we went with you on the boat tour on the um, along the river, um, which was spectacular. Um, I also visited yesterday the the Shanghai Museum. Which, which I loved, um, a really, really great exhibit. Did you buy anything so far? Have you bought anything? <laughs> <laughs> I've tried not to, but uh, no, I haven't. We, we bought, yes, we bought some art, we bought some clothes, we went to the silk, um, silk market. The silk market. Um, um, I think we may be going back. Uh, yeah. It's really fun. Yeah, we're going to need to buy a new bag. <laughs> new luggage, right? Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. yeah. Right. 满脸书卷气的修丹西出生于书香世家，父亲是英国雷丁大学和美国德克萨斯大学的著名哲学教授和作家，而母亲是一位出版商。家境富裕的修丹西从小得到的就是最好的教育。十三岁那年，修丹西进入学费非常昂贵的贵族学校温切斯特公学。
。该校毕业的学生大多能进入牛津和剑桥等一流大学，于是，一直循规蹈矩的修丹溪也就在十八岁的时候，顺理成章的成为了牛津大学的高材生，并以相当优秀的成绩毕业。你的背景蛮有趣的，你的英国出生，在牛津得到你的学位，嗯，蛮好的学校。Thank you to my parents. Yeah, my father is a is an academic. He's a professor. So that was that was part of my upbringing. 从小学习成绩优秀的修丹西之所以会爱上表演，据说是起源于他十三岁时调皮捣蛋后的惩罚。你进入呃电影圈也是个很有意思的故事。Well, actually, I, the story of of my getting into acting at all happened、uh, long before the movies. It was at, I was at school. I was thirteen, maybe. Fourteen, and I was not very happy.、Um, I was at boarding school,、um, and it was, you know, it's a difficult age for everybody. So I got into trouble,、um, silly little things, and eventually I was sent to the theatre as a punishment. It was it, it, they said we can't trust you, we never know where you are,、um, so you, we're going to make sure we know where you are, and you're going to have to spend all your free time in the theatre. And and I went, and of course I loved it. You know, it was.、Um, I was in, I was you were play, playing children's parts then, of course. Well, but, but, but I wasn't acting at that point. I was just painting the sets. I was、oh. hammering in nails. I was just、um, like I was just hanging around to to to, to help out with the, with the jobs, you know, that people needed doing. And what I I never thought about being an actor at that stage. I just liked the people, and I like I was in a very traditional school. It was a real hierarchy, and and I came to it to enjoy that. But at that time. I loved that in the theatre was all the different ages of the pupils were there, all working together. There was a kind of a greater freedom. So, so I, yeah, I settled there. I stayed. 修丹西一直坦诚自己最应该感谢的人是达拉斯史密斯，他是著名的艺人经纪人，就是他推荐修丹西进入好莱坞。而当时大学毕业后的修还只是酒吧里的一个酒保而已。你怎么找到经纪人的？ I did. Yes, I, I was working when I left because I went to, you know, as you said, I went to Oxford.、Um, I knew I, I wanted to be an actor, but I, I didn't know how to go about doing it.、Um, I wanted to study something else first, so I was working in London, in a bar,、um, and overheard a conversation between two people, and I realised one of them was an agent. One of them, anyway, I, I jumped into the conversation. You know the way you have to when you're starting out. You push your way in, and and.、Um, And that ended up with an introduction to one person, which took me to another person, and eventually I was sitting in the office of, of a guy who's now my agent. You know, ten years later, and we just talked, and we got on, and and he, I guess he, he felt that I was presentable, so he took a. I, I was, I was <laughs> no, I think he was blown away by the, your looks. <laughs> no, <laughs> I well, but you know, when you're stuck, it is it is the way you look, and it's the way you prepare, present yourself, and it's the way you sound, and. Um, when you're beginning as an actor, I mean, obviously, being able to do the job is the most important thing. But certainly, when you're beginning,、um, that 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 other stuff is half of the the job, going into a room and, and introducing yourself. So, I I think he, that's what interested him. 天生就带着英伦优雅气质的修丹西，除了电影之外，还是时尚界的宠儿。零四零五年的 Burberry 请他担任了代言人。零八年他又登上了 Gap 的广告大片。我每次见到你呢，还是打扮得非常好的。呃，很多人说你很可爱，你感觉你自己可爱吗 ？That's the second time you've asked me that. What kind of question is that? <laughs> Do you think you're cute? <laughs>、um, I don't. I think I just、um, I, I get on with the, with the job at hand. Okay. Well. All right. That's a cop out answer. <laughs> well. Okay.、Yeah. What do you want?、No. I try and I try and I try and look good when I'm doing my job. Always, always. Yeah,人也是看不到你的身材，你穿的穿这个衣服是这么珍贵的。但是我肯定的告诉我们的我们的观众，他的他的身材是很好的。如果你摸摸他的嗯肩膀的话呢，这个这个的确非常非常嗯
very, you know, pretty soft. Did you just arrange this whole interview for that? What do you do when I like to travel, um, which, which, which is difficult because obviously to get work you have to be available, so you can't just take off all the time. Uh, but I do, I love to travel. Um, I, I'm a, I read all the time. I, I'm, I would be very happy stuck in a book all day, and I almost have to be dragged out of it. Um, and, uh, and, and, you know, we, we uh, recently bought a, a house outside of the city, so that's a big focus as well. 文质彬彬、儒雅大方，修丹溪不仅不慢的语速和温文尔雅的风度，能让任何和他聊天的人都愿意跟随他的思路，分享他的态度。呃，这次呢，我们访问了 Claire Danes， 也访问了 Hugh d a n c y 呃，但是他们有个特别的要求，呃，他们不希望我们一起访问两个人。那两个人都是公众人物，但是他们对自己的婚姻，对他们的私生活呢，还是有相当的保护的。呃，这个我想我们是可以理解的。<笑>